I love the sun because it gives us warm beaches to lie on. <laughs> Welcome to Draw Her Life. My name is Kelly Cork, and I'm an astrophysicist who studies the sun. An astrophysicist in my line of work creates satellites to study the sun. So I work on instrumentation that goes on rockets and gets blasted into space. I was in grad school and I was avoiding my homework. And so my friend came in and said, hey, do you want an excuse to not do homework? And I said, of course I do. So I went with her and at that point in time we had to go and actually put a DVD into a DVD player in a classroom and we sat and watched these movies of the sun. So it was absolutely mesmerizing um, and I asked how, how can I study this and she said you know there's a professor here that studies this so I went to the professor and switched to work on this. And I graduated and there was a lot of competition for jobs. Um, trying to get a professorship is about equivalent of a high school basketball player trying to get into the MBA. There's not many jobs available. Um, so I was having a hard time, not sure I really wanted to do it. Uh, my mentor asked me to just do one more talk, one more talk, and then we'll figure out what you can do next. You could be a goat farmer, you could do something different. And after the end of my talk, my current boss came up to me and asked if I would like to have a position working on the operations of the telescope that I saw that time when I was skipping my homework. And I've been working on it ever since and just not looking back and keep taking the opportunities as they come. One of the funnest parts of my job is to be able to travel so much. So one of my moments that stick out was when we were launching rockets in the desert of New Mexico. And as you're launching, you're watching pictures come down. And we saw the first picture, it was just completely fuzzy. We were all kind of worried that, oh, uh, we, you know, did the mirror come unattached? What happened? Um, th is that a funny story? That was, <laughs> that was terrifying. The next image came down and it was crystal clear. The sun's corona looked like a fuzzy Muppet, something like Sully from Monsters, Inc. that just this beautiful fluffy hair and just being completely mesmerized. It was just absolutely amazing. The sun does things that are just absolutely beautiful. The aurora borealis, which is the northern lights, these happen because when those particles the sun has released hit the earth, the magnet that's in the center of the earth protects us and guides those particles down towards the poles. While it hits the atmosphere, you get these absolutely gorgeous mystical colors. I tend to call her a female because she has given us life in terms of all of the food that we grow on earth, um, the light, the warmth, all of that. And to me, that's a very motherly um, type of characteristic. So I tend to use the pronoun she. <laughs> um. Head to goldieblocks.com for more Curiosity Camp after school edition.